uh, Mark of Nuanchi, kaya hawakan here reporting for duty. So today, I have something a little bit special because I don't usually do this because I never buy an early access game. But this time around, I decided to, you know, buy a certain game in early access state because some of my friend thinks that it already looks like a finished product even though it isn't according to the roadmap. But I've been craving for a Mac game recently and this is apparently the closest thing to <laughs> a certain Mac game that I kinda want. Because the other game the new gonna breaker is garbage, so I don't want to buy that. So here we are. This is Mass Builder. And Mass is an acronym from Mechanical Assault Skeleton Suit. Uh, so I actually saw the trailer and a bit of a gameplay from my friend. And well, let's see how it looks like by myself here. So yeah, let's start a new game. A future in where human live. Oh wow, this, this is fast. Purpose of century and technology advancing beyond space and time. That was what humanity should have been if not for the sudden appearance of unknown beasts of the void. A large portion of you. Yeah, I should read it as fast as I could. Ooh, this is a cool robot. Back to be my MC of Mark II Gundam. <laughs> Chapter 1 Uprising. This is the beginning of your fight against the threat to humanity. I don't know what the threat is. You arrive at the building, quite small, by the standards of private military company headquarters you've seen in other shelters. But this is where you will be for the future. It's your own PMC that your friend proposed you create with their funding. A proposal you can never decline. I mean, well, it makes money, you know. At least, that is what you wanted. Taking a step inside, you navigated through a small hallway into a large room. A woman was waiting for you with her determined, determined smile. Determined, determined... I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, <laughs> okay, Reina. Hello, Commander. Welcome back. Looks nothing like when we started the construction, right? I can't believe Elenir paid for all this advanced tech. Yeah, the hangar is looks pretty good. Hangar Diva 1. Kinda messy, but eh, I kinda like that kind of place, actually. How was the trip back here from Shelter 1? Well, you're standing here should mean nothing went wrong, fortunately. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I still alive. As you can see, almost everything is 100% operational and ready for deployment. Even the catapult. What's left is testing our new mass. Okay. She looks cute though. Red eyes, black hair. Kinda... I kinda like that actually. <laughs> oh, another important thing that we need to do is think of a good name of for our private military company. Well, it is a requirement as I need to turn in documents for the funding of this PMC to the WDF. I don't know what that stands for, but uh, sure. Please tell me you did not forget to, to think of one. I've been postponing it for a while now. Oh god, <laughs> Think, thinking of a name is... Uh, took some time, you know? <laughs> Enter your mercenary company name. Oh, WDF stands for World Defense Force. Okay. So, mercenary company name. Uh... Oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh, I forgot to close my camera because it's on the left, right? So, you know, you cannot see right now earlier. So, anyway, company name. Uh... Because 
I don't think this is a nickname. Hopefully. Okay, let's just use my name. No white spaces at the beginning. I'm not defensive. Uh... That sounds lame, you know. I'm just going to use my old uh, clan name. By the way, this is Reina, as you can see there. Pretty clear, right? She's pretty cute, as I said earlier. Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, I'll be scanning all these documents for the WDF. They've been hunting me for a while now. For now, please follow me to the mission briefing room. Queen is doing the final turning on your control system, and she wanted you for a final test. Okay. Reina said that as she moved towards the briefing room. That's where she set up her office in this small building. Ooh, hello there. So, th there is frame model name. Cross combination mark one. Eh, yeah, that's pretty nice name. Can I rotate the camera now? Let's see the frames. So rename important. Okay, not much that I can do right now. So I have to select it. Okay, <laughs> looks uh, pretty generic, but much better than what I'm currently creating. I shouldn't set that, but yeah, you know, whatever. So armor, you can pick some stuff here from the inner frame. Oh, we can move it as we want. Oh, that's awesome. So, adjust range. Oh, wow, this is a nice customization. You can adjust the amount of body you have. You know, I want the hip a bit wider to make it more stable, I feel. Arms. Oh, this should stay. And that's that. So we can affect all armor, random armors, and unequip armor. Oh, okay. So hat. We have a few options for the hat. Okay, scrolling down is to zoom. Haha, <laughs> I really like this one. This looks like <laughs> a monster rat. Uh, I prefer this one. Looks a lot slicker, that's for sure. So that's the face. It's Titan 001 face. There is a heavy awake here, apparently. Oh, we got unequipped as well. Ah, so that's the camera. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. So, 
we have Vanguard hat, Assault Mark 1 U hat, upper hat, Titan. Well, I actually don't really like the Titan hat. Oh, I have to save it? Ah, okay. So, I have to equip it by pressing save. Oh, we have less glow. Oh yeah, I love that. 1.35 ton. Okay. The side cheek armor. Okay, this is just the side. Not just the side, I think. Yeah, it's changed the entire back hat as well. Ooh, I really like this one. Put on that. And what is this? Oh, this is the neck? So we have... Neck adjust uh, a neck armor as well. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of customization on this. That's cool. We can make some cool combination. Even though I can hardly see it. Uh, this one looks nice. This is the torso, front torso, I think. Or the entire one? The entire piece, I think. Oh, it's the entire piece, okay. Yeah, not much option. We only have four options. Oh, this one looks nice. The Blitz X upper body. Oh, this is the cockpit. Middle body. Okay. Oh, this looks like a, a Gundam. A strike. A striker unit, basically. Strike Gundam unit in general seat unit. Uh, oh, the Titan one is, looks nice. Oh god, that's too long. Don't you like that? I mean, this one is just strike. I think this one is just too much. Like, you're you you, you might have some trouble to get over your body with that kind of setup. Now let's just use that. This is the lower body. Oh, that's that's the name of the partner. So, uh, oh, this looks. This makes it looks really slim. I really like it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Backpack. Oh, we have fun guard backpack. We have assault mark, mark one, so, like that again. Titan, damn. That is huge backpack. <laughs> And Blitz, uh, that's 102.62 ton. The lightest one is this Vanguard backpack. Which, well, this is your standard Gundam backpack usually. <laughs> I like the standard one, so yeah, let's moving on. Front ways, okay, this is the front piece. This one's kinda nice. Let's use that. Front skirt. We can pick. You can pick one and then we mirror it. So we can make it different from each other side. Oh, that's cool. That. Never it. And we'll go with that. Side score. Again. We can mirror it if we need to. 1.18, 1.05. Uh, the assault one looks nice, so let's do that. And then back score. Oh, the back score is a separate piece. That's cool.
So I really like the smaller skirt, all right. So, but the back one, I feel like it needs to be bigger than the front. Well, not much bigger anyway, at least. This looks okay. And let's use this. And then the back waist. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay. I like this one better. So this is all about customization and you have a lot of options for each part. Like it's piece by piece. That's cool. So shoulder. Oh this kinda reminds me <laughs> uh Gundam Seed series in terms of framing. I like that but Oh I don't know why, but I feel uh, a bit despite on that one. I want this one though, so let's just use that. And mirror it to the other side. There we go. This is a lot easier to operate than the game that I kind of forgot already the name. The break arts, right? The break arts, you can add as much as you want but it's really complicated it's annoying actually sorry about that okay i feel like the arms need to be a little bit beefy compared to this i mean vanguard and assault doesn't look much different but mm, okay oh, i like the titan one Let's use that. You are to the other side. Oh, you have a, the elbow piece as well. That's cool. Can, man, this game has a lot of customization. I really love it. Let's use that one because this one looks nice. You are it. arm lower arm uh, let's use this one uh, no no I need more color but I you know what I'll keep the original one right now so the hand Okay, it's just changing the this upper palm here. Oh, I really like that. Like this, all cool, but this one right here. Oh, that's awesome. And we can have it different as well if you if you want. But uh, symmetrical is easier to do, <laughs> so you know. The upper leg. Uh, let's uh, just tighten on this one. I want it to be beefier. No, Titan isn't beefy enough actually. Let's go with this. Uh, the fact that Titan is way too blocky is. Uh, I don't nice me. I'm spending more time assembling the robots <laughs> than actually playing right now. So knee guard. That's so triangular. Yeah, let's just keep it as is for that one. Uh, the lag, long lag. Oh wow, it's so cool. I prefer this one because it has a fat on it. Let's equip that. Put that on from both sides. Oh wow, we even have the 
ankle armor. I wonder if the weight will affect the mobility. I hope it will. So the back piece, the heel. Yeah, I like this one. Then toe or foot. Yeah, see the the assault series will make your unit looks like a strike Gundam. Pretty much this one. Eh, I don't. Know. I really like this one. And I could use this because this looks nice as well. Ah, yeah, let's just use this one. We can paint. Select style. Or we can use custom styles. So we have to paint it each part. Oh, that is the painting, but can I use select style? Okay, maybe not all red. You know what? Maybe the painting can we can do that later. For now, I just want to keep this. So. Yeah. What else? Decal assemble. So anyway, decal is still not in the game yet, but it will come according to the roadmap. So. There we go. Ah, I really love it. So that's armor weapon? What do we have for weapons? One, two, three, four, five, six, what? So this one is the equip one. We have only one model right now. So yeah, weapon is do that. Tuning. What's tuning? So durability 5,800. Good. Okay, this is the stats of it. We have an OS. Uh, engine is first engine. Provide three gear slot. Oh, we haven't got anything. We have neural OS. The operating system of the robots. Oh wow. This, this, there's a lot of customization. Damn. This is good. And frame, well, standard, obviously. But, yeah. Let's go to the mission, shall we? You literally followed her through a short hallway, reaching a room with a large monitor on one side, showing a large digital map of the world. An elevated platform with desk full of documents sits on the other side. Okay. You look around and notice a childlike person clicking away at a large panel of keys right beside a complex machine resembling a seat. It seems she not ha she had noticed you your presence as her hands slowed down to a stop. She turned towards you. Okay. So looks like it sets on Earth. I mean there is Neo European, Neo Pacific Union, stuff like that. Okay. Her name is Quindolia. Hello, Commander. I've just finished tuning the new control systems. You're just in time. What's left is to test to test it out on the combat simulator before we are sure it's ready for any mission. I've input all data to simulate our mass frame already, so what you're controlling will just be like the real thing. I want to collect every kind of data, be it efficiency, speed, durability, anything to make sure this thing works correctly. As well as your data commander, you need to get familiar with its control. Okay, sure. Okay, very nice back again. Quick glance. Uh, 
Right, I finished scanning all the papers for WDF as well. I'll be your operator in this simple exercise, Commander. Commander, if you may please take a seat in that pilot simulation system. Farina will be your operator and Elmo is on everything. She looks <laughs> adorable. I mean, almost as high as Farina, but. A oh, ponytail, nice. Red hair, nice. Glasses, nice. Oh, she's she's short. That's cute. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Shelter 07. You're currently on Battle Simulator. So there is difficulty, normal. You can increase it. Let's just keep it normal for now. Battle Simulator and Battle Simulation Systems for the testing of mass before its usage in real action. Okay, let's start mission. Oh, that's a cool animation to start with. Mission start. Okay, press and hold the buttons to move, mouse to change camera view, Z to reset camera view. Okay. Oh, this is cool. We cannot jump yet. Okay, space to jump. Oh! Oh, that's a cool jump. I mean, like the jump. The jump style is really natural. Press and hold shift to use booster. And oh. oh, that is really cool. We can use that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Press what to select melee weapon. That's all weapons is currently untitled. I have to lock to target. Oh, this is not my PSO to set up in a way for locking. Scroll is to cycle lock target. No, actually, I use Q for locking on target. Uh, does it have jump attack? No, it's just fly. <laughs> That's kind of like Gundam. Okay, two and three to select uh, range weapon, bullet shooter, and energy shooter. So we have two choice. Right mouse button too. Oh, this is cool. We even know the range of the target. Oh, this is a semi auto. Okay. You can reload the weapon. Oh, it has an animation as well. Oh, we, we can auto target it as well if we need to. Uh, okay, we cannot go there. Sadly, there's an invisible wall. So, number three is an energy weapon. Can we reload? Energy weapon doesn't need to reload, okay. Oh, that's cool. If we start moving to the opposite direction, it automatically put the position towards the other side. And it doesn't move too much, but uh, it can be annoying actually, but whatever. Final part of the training. So we can do that for dash. Uh, movement to avoid attack if we need to. So we can still aim, but why? <laughs> oh, that's that's can be really annoying actually. <laughs>
I want the machine gun though, to be honest. Oops, drop. Okay, do we still have- Okay, there it is. Mission clear. I really like the animation. It's so fluid for robots. I really love this. Damn. So, offline from battle simulator and come check the training result. Okay. Press enter to... Oh, we have a close up as well. That's cool. Oh, so that's how we mount our weaponry. Over the shoulder. Okay. Quick lens again. It was very nice there. <laughs> how is it, Commander? Our control systems and the mass frame. It's good, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really fluid and really responsive. There. Queen modified it herself. I can't wait to see it used in the real thing. Mm, test results came out quite good, but now I'll need to adjust them accordingly and transfer all data into the system we got. But, well, I'll continue with my work. Thank you for your cooperation, both of you. Oh, right, Commander. I'll head back to my room first, but you should come and visit it. I'd like your input on the development directions we are taking. Also, Waltz and Uncle Kyle, 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 came in to check on the final test. They said you should check something out with them as well, so don't forget to visit them. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I really love this game so far. So there is a development section, develop and upgrade mass abilities. Let's see what's that all about. You walk into the same small room like you did a few hours ago. Queen is moving her hands non-stop, non-stop, even faster than before. You caught her smiling a bit, but noticing you, bit but noticing you came around. Her first time stoic as she always. <laughs> I mean, well, it's a serious problem, you know, especially when you're a guy. Is she trying to hide her excitement? Probably. I'm just being serious. Oh, oh, come on! I accidentally click. I hit the side of my keyboard with my left click mouse. You already know this, but. I can help you develop new technologies for your mass here in this place. New technologies will help improve a mass performance and will help you in your mission. There are three types of technologies I can research and develop here. Engine, OS, and Architects. Each has their own benefits and focus on an aspect of combat you like, but I suggest you try to get them all developed together so we can be prepared for any situation. Right. After I finish, their plans will be given to our engineers and they'll make it for you. And you can have Uncle Kyle help you tune your mask at any time. I've brought off the development tree for you here, so take a, take a look at the notes and see if any interests you. Okay, what do we have here? First engine, okay this is the one that we have right now. We can develop to loaded engine. Combustion controller, control combustion equation to generate more power, modified turbine. So we have 3000 credits right now. You can upgrade to H by 1000. You can upgrade both if we want, we want to. And I can go with the uh, loaded engine. Let's get both of these, shall we? Oh, there is a resource that we need. Ah, okay, so I can see that we need first steel and mix composition for both of these. This is the OS. Same deal with the other. So we have neural, which has three accuracy uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff here that wow okay <laughs> there, there is, that's a lot of stuff that I can add to the OS damn <laughs> So, exoscale 
or OS. So, an OS that simulates the mass as your exoskeleton. It has more shield. No, it's less shield. But it has more accuracy. Oh. And for the standard frame, you can develop to 4 at the beginning. Combat frame, support frame, boost frame, and strength frame. Oh, this this is really fun to play around, I think. But there is even more here. Enemy observer unit. Okay. Anything else on the other side? No. Okay. God damn, there's a lot of stuff that you, you can add to your unit. That's cool. That is really cool. So uh, there's an event as well on the armor side here. We already done the armoring. I should have a large room near the hangar. You are great with smell of fumes and pain. This is where you armor or pick his office. With all the different designs of metal and chemical works lying around. A young man yelling something happily to himself turns towards you, smiling. So this is Waltz. Hello Waltz. Yo, Commander. Do you have fun with with in with uh, Okay, that caught me off guard. Yo, Commander, did you have fun with in within that simulator? I had Queen Dahlia make the simulated mass look and work exactly like this one. Ah, okay, so you're the engineer. Well, after all that though, did you like the design of it? This standard mass we got for you. Well, not standard anymore, <laughs> because I already changed it before we start even. Oh well, whatever. If you don't, you can always come and tell us armorers over here about it, and we'll refit the mask to your likes. Okay, cool. That's all for me. Please do not hesitate to come here and ask us to refit the mask. So we already done this. I want to paint it to be honest. 